Well, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams are finally on their way home to Earth. That's after technical issues with their mission turned a days-long round trip into more than nine months on board the International Space Station. Their ordeal has raised concerns over the race to space. But despite those dangers, cosmic tourism is still on the rise, including a new type of experience. CNA's Julie Yu tells us more. Space travel used to feel like something out of a sci-fi movie. But the recent billionaire space race has brought it closer to reality. And now there's a new twist that's set to open up a mass market. Stratospheric balloon travel. It lets you get close to the edge of space without needing a rocket. So what exactly is the stratosphere? It's the layer of the atmosphere about 10 to 50 kilometers above Earth. 98% of the atmosphere is below it. Now, a number of startups are trying to make it possible for more people to enjoy an amazing view at that altitude and at a much lower price than traditional space tourism. Now, the space tourism market broadly is growing fast. Its value is closing in on a billion dollars. And by 2033, it's expected to be worth 35 billion. I chatted with Van Sanferre Dastiès, the CEO of Zafalto, one of the companies involved in the balloon-based space race, to learn more. Imagine floating gently up to the edge of space inside a giant balloon. No noisy rockets, no need to deal with zero gravity, just you in a luxurious capsule, enjoying window seat views of our planet. Zafalto is hoping to redefine space tourism with a bold twist. Forget rockets, it's all about balloons. The French space tourism company is aiming to launch Celeste, a pressurized capsule lifted by a gigantic hydrogen-filled balloon 25 kilometers into the stratosphere by the end of this year. When you climb at 25 kilometers altitude, you are in the darkness of space and uh, you can see the curvature of the Earth. It's like the overview effect, but something only astronauts have seen for the moment. It's really a transformative experience. Celeste will depart from France with the capacity to carry six people, including two pilots. The entire trip lasts about six hours. An hour and a half long ascent, three hours of Michelin star dining, sightseeing and relaxation, and then 90 minutes for your descent back to Earth. We wanted really to bring the French out of in, uh, in space, in the stratosphere. So all is designed to be very smooth, very comfortable and dedicated to this contemplation of space and Earth. But it's not just about luxury. Zafalto's founder and CEO, who's also an aerospace engineer, says these balloon flights can be sustainable. Rockets used for space travel typically release 50 to 75 tons of CO2. Zafalto's flights generate a fraction of that, just 26 kilograms of CO2 per passenger. Oh, I think you cannot compare it to rockets. You, can, you had better compare it to bikes, I think. Mm -hmm. no, really, uh, we, we use uh, all it's designed to be uh, low carbon. You can compare 200 uh, kilometers drive Safety, of course, is a top concern. Zafalto has partnered with Sines, the French space agency, which has been sending balloons into the stratosphere for more than 60 years. The company launched in 2016, and since then, it's carried out several test flights with pilots only. Its capsule is set to be certified by the European Aviation Safety Agency to meet safety standards equivalent to those of commercial airlines. So how much does it cost? A little less than $130,000 per ticket. Around 100 people have secured their spots with a 20% deposit. Van Sanfare Dastiès believes the price tag will eventually come down to earth. 
after we know that with more and more tests, if not more and more flight, the price will get lower and lower. It's also like the beginning of sailing. You know, sailing was like a gentleman sport, but uh, not for everybody. And now a lot of people are going uh, on the ocean. Zafalto and other similar companies share common challenges. Regulatory hurdles due to strict safety standards, the cost of technology development, and the need for robust infrastructure. But Zafalto's leaders say they hope to offer a unique, eco-conscious journey into the stratosphere, one that might just change the way we think about space travel.